what are the best settings for a6000 when you're shooting indoors maybe you're using a flash or natural light or probably also the regular lights that you have now i'm going to share with you my settings that i use and let's jump right in. hi everyone welcome to my channel <laughs> today i'm in a different location my background i'm using my v flat that i made by myself and i'll put the description uh, i'll put it in the description of the video that i did and i hope you can also try to make something for yourself so you can use it now i'm recording here because i have visitors and there's too much commotion and i just need time for myself so that i can be able to concentrate and bring you the best content ever now we're going to start with the focal length on the a6000 while using your kit lens so mine i always set at 18 mm but remember you can move between 18 to 35 and uh, <clears throat> depending on the shots that you're taking, if you're taking a full body shot, of course, put it at 18 and move a little bit behind or probably use between 18 to 35 there and still you have to back behind. When you're doing this by yourself, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but it doesn't mean that it cannot be done. Next is the ISO. Now this is where you want the light in your pictures. You want the light on the subject. If you're taking a picture of somebody else, I think it's easier than when you're doing it on yourself. So when you are taking pictures inside under natural light, bump up your ISO to probably 800. I always put mine at 800 regardless of whether i'm using a flash or if i'm using light the regular lights and the natural light now here's my flash i'm going to show you Ooh, this is the flash that i use oops that i use i always point it upwards so that it can hit the light to get that natural light and not too harsh <laughs> i learned that the hard way anyway so bump up your ISO when you're in such conditions but also it depends with what type of camera you're using now for a6000 since it's an old model that one you have to be careful when you're bumping up too much and it can get grainy or rather have so much noise in your picture but don't worry about that you can fix that so sometimes you could you could take a perfect photo and you're like oh my god i can't use this i mean go to your apps uh, one of your apps there's this grainy effect i saw that is cool i also love using it and just apply it add on to it or probably play around with that with editing and your photo will still come Come out in an artistic way so it doesn't have to be as perfect as you might think so um, it depends with the camera that you're using and also the lens that's the most important thing that's when you'll know you can if you can bump up if you're using a, a good lens of course you can bump up and still get better pictures the reason why I'm saying that it's um, this is a, a 6400 the reason why I'm saying that oh this is now uh, I mean the latest one not really latest but it's one of the um, later on released cameras and um, the reason why I say you can bump up with the lens more it's because I was using a 30 mm Sigma and I got really great pictures <laughs> when I bumped up this is a picture I'm gonna show you I bumped up at 500 and I thought probably the picture is gonna blow up and become just pfft, you know too much light but it came out perfectly so it also depends on that aspect so make sure you've you've understood those things first when you are um, using the type of camera you're using but in this case since we're talking about the a6000 we are going to stick on those settings now next is the manual mode set your manual at m the reason why you have to do this so that you can be able to change the shutter speed and the aperture manually and it just gives you that variety in case just when exposure changes or something like that you're able to do it next we are going on to aperture now your aperture you will find it over here we see those numbers that are on top of the lens 
So mine is between three, five to five, six. So it's not that good. Uh, on the Sigma 30 mm, I, I no longer have it. I wish I had it. I sold it. Um, on the Sigma, it was uh, 1.8. That was good, really good. It was really a good lens, but it didn't work for me. I didn't like that length, um, using that focal length. So your aperture set it at 3.5, but if you have a better lens, like maybe a Sigma 30 mm, I mean, that one doesn't move, so it's not like this one that you have to set it. It's stuck on that. Um, um, put it at 3.5. And also, if you want a blurry background, just move closer to your subject and you will create that bo bo bokeh or something like that. Okay, on to the next one. We are going to talk about the shutter speed. Yes! Now, the shutter speed, the higher the shutter speed, that means you can shoot it in daylight like when it when there's too much light think of it this way when there's too much light you can put a, sh a shutter speed higher when there's lower light put the shutter speed lower yes i hope i'm correct now mine i put it at 125th and it stays there unless now i move outside then i can make those changes and another one is the AEL button, this button over here. This button is amazing, especially if you're in a dark room and probably the window has light coming in and your subject here, let's say my camera is darker, then I can just transfer that light and bring it in by pressing the AEL button and then quickly take my photo. Now, but in this case, when you're doing the settings for this A6000 under this circumstance, you just set it and leave it at I IAF. And um, as you can see in the video above, so you just set it at that and um, the current light is maintained and doesn't change, so to speak. Next is the white balance. Now the white balance on this camera, put it at auto. That's where I put it. And um, the reason why you have to do it that way, it's, it's so that you can get the natural light that you, you're, you're using behind you. Let's say the background is white and you want it to come out the truest form of that whiteness that's being depicted. So um, you have to set it at that and otherwise it's going <coughs> If let's say you try to set other ones like sunny or something like that, then it will pick up different colors. I forget exactly as I'm not looking in my camera and trying to, you know, explain. So anyway, um, uh, on to the next focus mode, put it at AFS and focus area, put it at flexible spot. Now, <coughs> just leave those at that those ones they don't really need to change and the point of that is just making sure that you capture the sharpness of the picture so uh i think that's all i've covered everything i hope i haven't forgotten any any setting if i have then i'll have to write it below and uh just set your camera at that and leave it there and um i think that's all so i can leave you with this write your settings and have them with you all the time if you feel like probably scenarios change or lighting changes or for some reason i don't know what happens you can be able to quickly go back to your card and <clears throat> excuse me um, you can go back to your card and <laughs> and re recalibrate those um those settings to your liking thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you in the next one Bye-bye.